Yo, dude, sorry about that. Ran into a lot of trouble. Anyway, let's uh, take care of this here. Um, very the last step, obviously, we just solve for x. Divide both sides by 9. End up with um, x is 43. Make sure you reread the question and find out what the question was asking. What was the question asking? Um, find the city bus speed. Well, we got 43. 43 goes here. The city bus speed right here, 43. We got it. All right. So there's two more problems real quick. Here we go. Gina leaves now and drives at 66 kilometers an hour. She'll reach Alton just in time for her appointment. On the other hand, if she has lunch first and then leaves in 40 minutes, she'll have to drive at 90 kilometers an hour to make her appointment. How far is this town, Alton? Well, that's kind of a tough problem. So it's either she, you know, she either leaves right away or she waits a little while. So let's see. Um, she leaves now where she eats lunch and then leaves, okay? So I'm going to call leaves now and eats lunch, and we'll see, you know, what happens here, right? Same thing, rate, time, distance, all right? Well, we know um, if she leaves now and drives at 66 kilometers an hour, so that's my right there, right? Later on, she's got to travel at 90, right? Now, look at the time. Um, the time she travels, if she leaves now, will just be the, the regular time. We'll call it X, right? But if she leaves later on, that's 40 minutes later, isn't it? And, and, and here's the trick on this one. You've got to be careful on this. Um, you might be thinking, oh, well, if she leaves now and leaves X, she leaves 40 minutes later, she leave, uh, she's, she's just going to travel X minus 40. Well, that's not true because that's minutes, right? If it was 60, it would be X minus 60 minutes. It would be X minus one hour. We want it to be hours because we're doing miles per hour. We need to change this to hours. So 40 minutes is two-thirds of an hour. So we're going to put this as x minus two-thirds. There we go. Now it's nice we fill these in so we can find the distance. This is 66x. This is going to be 90, 90x minus and two-thirds of 90 is 60, right? So here we go. Uh, what do I know? Well, I know that the distances are equal. Whether she leaves now or later on, she's still going to travel the same distance. So this distance should equal this distance. And there's our equality and that's our equation. 66x equals 90x minus 60. Subtract 90x from both sides, they get 24x equals 60. Divide both sides by 24. What do I get? 24 goes into 60 once, and what's left over? Um, actually, no, it goes in twice, which is 48, with 12 left over, so 2.5 times. So x is 2.5. All right? That's not what we're asking, right? We want to know how far away Alton is. We know x is 2.5, so we're talking about a distance. So let's plug that two and a half in. Sixty-six times two and a half. Sixty-six times two and one half is just two and a half sixty-sixes, which is a sixty-six, a sixty-six, then a half a sixty-six, which is thirty-three. Add those baby up, you get twelve and three is fifteen. Carry the one. Same thing. Fifteen and one more is sixteen. One hundred sixty-five kilometers. Isn't that beautiful? All right. And one more problem here. Car A travels at R kilometers an hour. B travels at S kilometers an hour. When will B overtake A if A and B start at the same time, but A starts P kilometers in front of B? Well, I'm going to draw a little picture just to kind of get an idea of what's going on. we got um, A is starting P, so there's some distance here, P. And that's when A is going to start, and A is going to travel some distance. B is going to go right here, right? And B is just going to travel B's distance. And they're going to, we're talking about overcoming, so they're going to get overtaking each other, so they're going to, you know, um, meet at some point at the same place, the same distance. So let's just make a little chart here and see if we can get some information. So, you know, I'm kind of confused here, but I know maybe if I fill out this table here, it'll, um, it'll make this a little bit easier. We have rate, time, distance, right? Car A travels at R. Nice. Car B travels at S. Okay. When will B overtake A if A and B start at the same time and A starts P comes to the... Well, they both travel time T, don't they? They're both traveling the same time T. Um, and let's see. Um, the distance they travel, this guy goes RT. And this guy's going to go ST, Right. So this distance here is P. What's this distance from here to here? This distance is the distance that A travels. A travels this distance. So this is RT. I don't know what it is. 
This whole thing is ST. What do we notice? We know that RT plus P equals ST, right? Because you know that A is traveling P less than ST, right? I mean, than B. So you can take this guy, subtract P, and get RT. Either way, any way you look at it. But we have an equation here because we know that these two distances are equal, right? So I can say this plus this is this. So that's what I'm going to do, right? P plus RT equals ST. I'm trying to find the time, right? That's what we're trying to find, right? When will B overtake A, right? They start at the same time, but A starts P Columbus. So we're trying to find this T and how long, right? So let's solve for T. Well, I can get all the T's on one side. I end up with P equals ST minus RT. Now I combine like terms, right, by adding the coefficients, S and negative R. Divide both sides by S over R, right? And that's what I get, T equals P over S minus R, all right? And that's how you solve these type of equations. Remember, um, draw, the, draw the little table there. It might help you out quite a bit, all right? Have a nice day.